We just finished collecting like terms and talking about and introducing polynomials. I next like to focus on adding and subtracting polynomials. It's very, very easy. Um, what you do when you add, take one polynomial and add another polynomial to it, is you essentially, again, just collect your like terms and add their coefficients. Um, so in this, these two polynomials, in terms of the highest degree, the one that has a 4 as an exponent, x to the 4th power, these two are my like terms. So I have to add the 31 and the negative 4, or 7, I'm sorry. Or basically take 31 and subtract 7 and get 24 x to the 4th power. And that would be the, the first term because it has the highest degree. As I look down to the rest of these, my x cubed term over here is the next um, term in terms of descending order of, of degree, and there is no x cubed term here, so I'm just going to bring that 5x cubed down as part of my answer. Next is x to the second power, and this I'm going to put a little, maybe a check mark above these as I take care of them, and there is only one term with x to the second power, so I have to bring that down as well. The 2x here and the minus 2x here are like terms, but they add to be 0x. I don't even write that down. And then finally, this minus 1 and this plus 2 are like terms. A negative 1 and a positive 2 adds together to be a positive 1. And I have added these two polynomials. I'm all done. Let's go ahead now and subtract two polynomials. So the only difference is when I subtract, I add the opposite. Here's the problem that I'd like to do. I'd like to take this polynomial, a negative 3x squared plus 5x minus 4, and I'd like to subtract a negative 4x squared plus 11x minus 2. And essentially, all I need you to recognize is that when you want to subtract that polynomial, you have to add the opposite of all of those. I actually don't like putting that red mark right there for right now. But it, it is a subtraction problem, so I have to add the opposite of this. So I'm going to add here a 4x squared. When I add the opposite of 11x, it will become a negative 11x. And when I add the opposite of a negative 2, that's going to become a positive 2. I'm going to drop the parentheses. They're really not necessary. But essentially, when subtracting, you add the opposite of all of those. That became positive, that became negative, that became positive. And now you collect your like terms. So these two are like terms because their variable x is raised to the second power. A negative 3 plus 4 is 1x squared. Not necessary to put the 1. Could confuse the computer, possibly. It shouldn't. I don't think it will. 5x positive, negative 11x. 5 minus 11 is a negative 6. I'll write that as a minus 6x. And then this minus 4 and positive 2 are like terms. A negative 4 plus 2 is a negative 2. And I have uh, subtracted, I'm sorry, these two polynomials. Very, very simple to add and subtract polynomials. Just make sure you're combining like terms.